We're about to lose one. Get the intruder. Copy. We're almost there. Security breach. Attacking the area. Security breach. Shit, I've got movement. Where? Everywhere. Contact! Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back. Another Thursday rolls around and y'all know what that means. <laughs> it means some Tom Glancy, Splinter Cell, the Spies versus Mercs multiplayer action this week. A little bit of classic up here. Not my greatest round. Um, uh, you know what? I spent the past couple of days in there, you know, playing some classic, playing some Blacklist as well. But uh, trying to play some uh, some classic, trying to find that one round that was really worth putting up here, and it just never came. You know, it was always something. I mean, there were good rounds, but you know, this one, this one, I kind of dusted off. I had a few that saved up, and this one didn't look too bad. The competition on the other side, we're a little outmatched, I would say, at this point. Uh, I'm, I'm squaring off against the gun nut, and this fella Kadai. I think that's how you would say that. It could be Kadale, not really sure. Call him the Cad. He's the Cad and the Gun Nut. We've got the Nut and the Cad, and on my side we've got this cow fella, who I really don't think was uh, too experienced. You know, low rank, and I don't think it was a situation where he had reset his his uh, he had reset his his rank. Uh, right there, I thought for sure my man Cow was getting that evil Gun Nut, but no, the the Nut did. Uh, you know, he came out on top. Reigned supreme, and uh, I did a I had to do a bit of a double take there. Eventually, I got the let out. I got my my ass in gear, came over the top there, and got a little death from above. Doing a little slicing and dicing on the nut here early on. You can see Cal has now moved in behind me, bringing up the rear, uh, moving into the B sector. If you had noticed in the distance. Posted up between B and C in that hallway is uh, is Kadai, and he's down there. He's taking a knee. He's got his flashlight up, so he's one of those guys, you know. Uh, you know, and they're they're great. I, I do that from time to time. It certainly is effective if used properly, and he's set up in the right location. Now, this I like to see, as we had seen the gun nut go moseying on by just a couple seconds earlier. Now, here's Kadai coming in to die. Yes, Kadai coming in to die. Coming in to die, but the nut, oh my god, you prick, with a fantastic grenade up to the second balcony from the ground level. He even gets all cutesy here with the high wire. Well, hello, nut. Hello, sir. Good to see you. Not really, no, but uh, Cal, keeping the hack alive here. It's one-on-one -on -one in the B sector right now. Kadai uh, doing a little, well, probably shouldn't, have, you know, it was nice he typed in. You scared me, well... But uh, he probably should have been focusing on trying to deal with the hacker. You can see Cal in a very unusual location. Kind of out of the way. I'm doing just enough, I think, to, to really keep him concealed over there. Keeping Gun Nut from being able to look down. Get a beautiful quick tase there on Kadai. Saving my ass. You can see Gun Nut pushing the assault. Charging in. Messed up his, uh, messed up his badge. His gun badge. Busted the wrong nut. And it cost him his life. And I get away with nothing but a sore throat. <laughs> with uh, Nut's toxic busted nut that he threw my way, yes. Okay, anyway. Anyway, and you can see through it all, Cal has taken this. He's taken this hack really deep. You know, we're crossing the 75% mark as it stands. I'm not a big fan of this, uh, how I got this this sticky cam set up. It is on the stairs. It just I couldn't seem to get a very good angle on things, you know. So finally, I just blew it. Now, right here, I get the tase. Pretty nice little tase, but big... You know, it was. I think I was a little bit beyond the uh, the effective charge range for uh, for that type of stun. You know, I think if I, I would have closed in and probably would have been eating a gun bash or a few rounds before I could actually close that distance. But of course, we'll never know because the gun nut had dropped the uh, you know a safety a little backup mine there to watch his back, obviously, and uh, and caught me you know caught me moving in a little bit too hastily for that slice and dice on his teammate could die, and uh, but through it all. Again, through it all, Cal just held his ground down there on that lower level, kind of tucked away, like I said, in an unlikely location, and uh, and manages to bring in the hack here pretty early on, you know, six minutes left on this side of the round, and I'm charging in here full throttle for this A terminal, you can see Nut is tied up with Cal, he finally does 
take down the hacker, but it was, it was well, far too late at this point. Now, these pipes, if you've spent any amount of time with the game, you know these pipes are deadly at these doors. Watch the range on this sucker. Oh, my God. Coming out to greet you, nut. Hi there, nut. Hello, sir. And, uh, see, you know what? When you're approaching those doors as the Merc, if you don't know it, any doorway that has a pipe like that right across the top, you have to grenade it. You know, don't don't take any chances. You, even if you're taking a knee in a situation like that, often you're going to get it, you know, because you can't quite get close enough to the door to actually get a good line of sight on the pipe. You know, get a grenade in there and then just follow it up really quick, almost immediately follow that up. Follow it, the follow uh, follow the grenade up through the door just after the explosion goes off, and you should be okay. Now, right here, this kind of cost me this move right here as I drop down. I'm pretty sure that's a a, a toxic gas cloud. Uh, I just kind of missed the death from above, and I get myself in a bad location as I've been exposed to now. I think this is Kadai right above me. Uh, the smoke grenade goes down. And I, I moved to circle around out of the area. I'm trying to get through it all. I did hear the beeping of a mine. I think it was second level. But uh, you, you see the mark of experience there. This could die doing a fantastic job tracking me through the smoke cloud, keeping all of his bases covered. Now, you know, knew the layout. Obviously knew the layout of the sector. At, at, at Elite 56, you know what the hell's going on in each of these sectors. You know how to, uh, you know, you know how to guard a specific little corner, especially like that one where there aren't too many routes for the hacker to leave. You know, uh, that was really all I could do, and uh, he did a fantastic job tracking me, and he shuts the hack down before it could really get going. I think we got it close. I think we approached the uh, the 50% mark, but not much deeper than that. Anyway, you can see Cal's making a bit of ruckus. I like that since I'm tucked away in the shadows here. I'm hoping maybe a Merc has picked up on his sound and, and, we'll, and we'll pursue. Obviously, at least one's going to be coming this way, and it is the nut, and he's ready. You know, I jumped the gun, you know, got up off my knee just a little bit too quickly. He's still getting all cutesy with me. Giving me another hello, Wyatt. Well, hello, Nut. Yes, that's enough, sir. That's enough. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So he gets better of me there, you know. God damn. He, 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 well, had me eating a, a you know, a, 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 I don't know, a gun full of lead. And this was a beautiful grenade. Really caught me off guard. I froze up like a, you know, got all stuck and stutter stepped. And uh, <laughs> didn't know what to do. The first grenade going along, that's a, that can be a tough location to grenade. It has a big, wide open space, and a lot of the grenades have a tendency to drift along there. But he got a beautiful bank around the corner. I mean, Kadai, he was well aware of my presence. I had made just a little bit too much ruckus. Uh, obviously, he had noticed the blip on the motion tracking and wanted to make sure that I was going to have to, you know, I was going back to the penalty box for 10. <laughs> you know, for 10 more seconds or whatever the hell the count is. I think it's probably closer to 15 or 20. Anyway, the nut, I think that's the nut down there. Doing a fantastic job tracking me. Could be Kadai one more time. Not really sure. Both of them have good awareness about them. You know, they're listening. They, they're they watching. They're, they're, they're motion tracking. They're listening to the sounds of, uh, of footsteps in the area, you know. So somebody was making a fantastic track on me there. And, uh, and I'm forced to kind of regroup fall back and uh, cow has fallen in one more time right on my six here which is nice to see i like seeing a guy who's gonna you know he'll take his time now we do have the one terminal a couple minutes left at this point we've got time to take our time to take our sweet time with this make sure we're breaching this area as silently as possible don't want to give our position away here too early on the beauty of this of this whole situation was that we got b early on we got b first and they're split wide at this point across that ac sector you know and the gun nut, you know, that guy, he, you know what, and I don't take it the wrong way not when I say this, but he, he likes to roam. And it's not always the smartest move to roam when you're split wide like that, when you're only two mercs, you know. Sometimes you just have to post up in a sector, and that's, you know, beautifully worked out really well for Cal and myself here, was that uh, <laughs> we, uh, we, we come in here basically unchallenged. Nobody's posted up. Now, for some reason, we never see Kadai again. I don't know what happened to him, at least for the merc side. He does get back into gear on the spy side of things. Perhaps he had got hung up on one of those railings. Sometimes guys have a tendency to get stuck, although he never types anything in, at least to us, you know. But we don't see him again. It's really just the gun nut that ends up coming in here, making any type of effort to shut down this hack. So I think maybe that is what was going on, and maybe the gun nut was, was over there with him, trying to free him up. That's just my take on it. It could have happened. 
Maybe it didn't, not really sure. Unfortunately, right here, going for the death from above, the nut, keeping good range. He's gotten me plenty of times uh, grabbing me on that ledge. Not the death from above, sorry. The, uh, the ledge grab. He's gotten me plenty of times with that ledge grab there. I think I've gotten him once or twice. But he was a little distracted, trying to keep that pipe clear, you know. I think he's got the sweet fear in him. I think we all have the sweet fear in us of those damn door pipes. You know, those ones that have the massive range on it where you can dive about five or six feet through the door, you know. So he was... Kind of doing a double take, doing a thorough examination of that. And it manages, allows me to come in on his flank and do a little slicing and dicing. And again, as I said, you know, no could die. So I think he's probably hung up somewhere. Maybe he was AFK. Maybe he had to use the facilities. Maybe he was a little overconfident. I don't know. Maybe he thought, well, we'll let them get one more. One more terminal. I want a challenge when I don my spy gear. Maybe he's off getting changed here early on. Yes, yeah, doing some stretches. Some calisthenics preparing for his spy run. I don't really know. But we didn't see him, and Cal doing a fantastic job. Look at that. He's getting a beautiful death from above there at the end on the nutter. And uh, and there he is bringing in the two hacks. His K KDR a little weak, but the two hacks were spectacular. And I did a little bit of killing. My KDR a little weak as well, as an even Steven 6 and 6 comes in. And uh, down on the bottom level, both guys on the bottom level were on the plus side of things. Trying to keep us in check. I don't know what happened. Again, I don't know what happened to to the uh, to Gunnut's teammate there, Kadai, the CAD, at the uh, at the end of that round. But uh, whatever it was, it it allowed us to bring in that second terminal and made their job that much more difficult here, as they throw on the spy gear and try and hack a little intel for themselves. Now, right here, you know, I knew that Cal had a low rank, and uh, dude, don't follow me. You know, I try to say it. I'm not trying to be rude. But I don't want to be sitting there typing, you know, I want to get the point across as quickly as possible. And uh, some guys, you know, it's just, it's a mark of inexperience. As you can see, he's now turned around. And I'm just trying to explain to him why, you know. You gotta stay split up, there's a lot of ground to cover. Once that hack is going, yeah, that's, team up and, and work the sector. But, but you know, three across three terminals with only two men, you need to split up. You know, you need to split up and each man kind of works a sector. And, and ideally, you want to be posted up between the central objective, you know, and one man between the central objective and between the two outer outer sectors, right? That's the goal. That's how you want to set up most of the time. And Kadai, you know, goddamn, coming in like gangbusters. I don't know. Maybe he was doing some stretching, some calisthenics, sharpening his blade. I don't know what he was doing. Make sure that making sure that his uh, stun crossbow was charged up. To its uh, maximum, because goddamn, did he ever shut us down in the blink of an eye there at that? Uh, both Cal and I, we get a little, I don't know, we just got a little tied up there at the at the main door to the C sector. Now it's the gun nut who's carrying this hack. Kadai is working the defender as well. He's working as a defender and working as a distraction, and he's still lingering over there to our left. You know where he initially took us out. Uh, now the nut, I'm pretty sure he's upper level, second floor in it around here somewhere. And they're just tossing a big barrage of crap out of smoke. EMPs, flashbangs, I think the kitchen sink was in there as well. I think I was blinded, you know, when it when it came down. But I think I heard the thud. And there we go, we see Kadai over here working again as the distraction. Trying to lure us away from the hacker. And uh, he's doing a pretty good job of it. As Nut has taken this hack deep, passing the 95% mark. Kadai doing a little more slicing and dicing on Cal. But eventually, I did get a little revenge. I put him down. I'm stuck in this reload. The Nut, I don't know what he's doing. He's going nuts, the Nut. He's going nuts nuts uh, maybe he was uh, maybe he wanted to die at that point I don't know maybe he had lost all of his gear had used up his all of his EMPs and his flashbangs and he's just you know <laughs> ran around did a couple of circles around me said hurts take my life I'm useless now yes yeah. so well I obliged you not yes I did I did. I don't know what he was doing. It was just kind of odd I think he did two full circles of me before I finally did grab him by the scruff of the neck and put him down but anyway not a great start, you know, not a great start. A pretty similar. We brought in one pretty quickly. They've brought one in that much faster, though, as they're sitting at about seven minutes here. They brought that in about the, set, you know, the, well, I, two, uh, two minutes, 50, two minutes and 30 seconds in, you know, two and a half minutes in. And uh, so that's pretty, you know, you don't get a, a terminal in much faster than that most of the time, you know. So... <laughs> they, they've used their time quite effectively, quite wisely here to start. And a good goddamn thing we brought in that second terminal late in the round. 
as uh, you know what we needed that buffer at this point we've got a lot of ground well we've got a lot of time you know time is not really on our side at this point and they've managed to pick this hack up in the a sector I get one last little resupply in from my well from my ammo drop which I know is not gonna be there when I finally come back to the sector if you're going and dealing with these foul spies here in a and uh, Cal doing a good job taking at the defender, shutting him down. So we've got a pretty easy charge ahead here. Cal tied up, stuck in a smoke screen, eats, you know, what well, looked like it was a pipe death. You know, Kedai had him smoking the pipe there, didn't he? Yes, he did. <laughs> he, he comes down off that pipe and jabs him. Jabs his skull with the with his blade, his his newly sharpened blade, which he was doing at the end of the uh, the last of the Merc side of things, you know. Anyway, Kyle coming back in, he's respawned. Me doing a sweep of this second level. I'm gonna have to drop down level here shortly. I haven't really spotted anything. The hack is going deep. There's the nut. Put him down. The defender. Uh, Cal has obviously, or sorry, the Cad Kadai has obviously repositioned. He's not as he's not at the main door. I was really expecting that, you know. Once the death came in, once he put down Cal, once he knew that I was in the area lurking, you know, a lot of experienced or uh, players, spies, mercs, whatever the case may be, will reposition, which is what he's done. And and I'm sweeping for him. I'm sweeping for him. And uh, nothing. Completely denied. In fact, you know what? No, I don't think he actually ever did reposition. I think he held his ground over here because it's not long. Here we go. The nut one more time. The defender falls yet again. He kind of got like, obviously he was just beyond the effective range of that death and got tied up on the ledge. And Kadai, I finally did spot him. 95%. 95%. God damn, did we ever need to shut that down? Because at that point, one more percent, you know, if they'd brought in that terminal, one more percent. And 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 uh, victory goes out the door, you know, goes out the door. So it was a pretty decent uh, find on Kadai. It took me a while to finally track him down. I think he probably held his ground up there. I think I was talking out my arse there for a second, you know. I think he probably held his ground up there in the shadows. I think I spooked him, you know, when I finally did stumble across him. And he made a bit of a poor choice. He probably should have just held his ground. He only had five percent left. He was obviously, you know. Probably panicked a little, um, you know, and it happens to the best of us. It can just happen. You know, the pressure's on. You've got five percent left, and isn't that always the way it goes down? You know, uh, you know that the, the flashlight gets shone in, you know, and shined in your eyes, and and you freak out a little bit. And you, you make, you know, maybe some poor decisions. Anyway, I think that's probably what happened there. Is he did expose himself to some of my fire, but they've picked this hack up in a yet again, and uh, this time it is the nut carrying the hack and I shut him down I'm not really a big fan of that that little I don't know these these servers that he was on top of uh, you know it's good work in the ledge for the balcony you can get some nice death from above deaths from above and you can get some nice uh, uh, ledge grabs from that location as well however you know once you get on top of those servers it's you're not really in a great location it's like it's like being in the goddamn sand trap, you know, <laughs> or uh, it's like, uh, I don't know, just being in a bad, it's like a little hazard of some sort. Once you get up there, you're really exposed, you're forced to scramble. I don't think that you can get back up onto the onto the uh, the balcony very easily from that position, and you're pretty well exposed as we, as we see Kadai creeping in, God damn. And I think throughout it all, Cal was none the wiser, you know, as he was holding his man there, the nut, up on the balcony, putting a little fire his way. I don't know what the nuts do when saying, hey, hi, Wyatt. I guess maybe he just f thought it was time. You know, <laughs> it had been that long since last he killed me. He felt like he needed a little refresher just to, you know, <laughs> just a little bit of an icebreaker, perhaps. Anyway, I did see a little bit of act or a little bit of motion up here. So uh, I, I meet and I did hear the footsteps. I heard, uh, I heard something in the area. I thought I saw a shadow on the second floor balcony. I could be wrong though. There was a little bit of coughing. He could have been perhaps, he, perhaps he was up there on that third level balcony. But I really do think he was in there, and I think he just kind of swung out the door and uh, and has repositioned elsewhere now as the hack gets picked up in a yet again now at this point with the two minute warning rolling on in you know what now uh, time is not on their side time is working against them they really need to bring this hack and now at this stage in the game they have enough time to bring in the full terminal and still manage to bring in enough 
to secure victory from a third one. But uh, you know what? They're going to have to do it in this shot. You know, it's going to have to happen here. As I'm getting smoked out on this lower level, there's the grenade trying to flush guys up the pipe. We did get a little hit marker in the process. So it was a good goddamn thing I did. But uh, you know what? The gun nut. Every now and then, the guy surprises me. You know, I, <laughs> you know what? He, when he's on his game, when he's really working those pipes, he is a slippery slick fucker. Yes. You got to watch out for that guy. It doesn't do him justice often when we're squaring up against one another. And there's a video going up on the channel. You know, obviously, the videos that go up on the channel are often showing me in a good light. And when I'm squaring off against the nut, well, he's obviously taking the brunt of that. But... He has his moments, trust me. You gotta watch out for that guy. He is slick at times, as he displayed there some fantastic work uh, just guarding that door, keeping me out and keeping his hack alive as they've taken this deep yet again. Uh, we've crossed that final minute of gameplay. They're about to cross the 80% mark on this hack, and I do hear the, uh, the activity coming in as the defender kid die he does get in here flashes me i thought for sure i was being sent back in there being sent to the next life but i don't know how i reached in the, you know <laughs> some divine intervention in that blinding light as uh, it took me two attempts with the melee as well to get that i think it was a backbreaker that came in it was uh but uh my god big big time there and not only you know that was the defender that i was putting down meanwhile i think the nut was actually charging me as well but uh my man there cow had, uh, had got some uh, some VX gas down. Just beautifully positioned on the uh, the catwalk that I was on, or that little that stretch of uh, that stretch of road that I was walking, you know, up there. And I think it was kind of watching my back. He was tracking the nut, obviously, and managed to put him down. Shut that hack down deep one more time at the eight terminal, and a really close round. I had a good time with this round. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it could have been better. My numbers a little weak. My KDR overall not great, but I thought the action was pretty solid, and I thought the competition was pretty good as well and you don't get much closer than 200% to 195% as they really did you know they, they almost got the job done there in the A sector and if Kadai had been on the scene maybe if you know if he sees the video I don't think he he really stops by over here I haven't played with him much I don't really know the guy but uh you know what, if uh, if maybe the nut knows what was going on with Kadai in that last, uh, um, when we were bringing in the A sector hack, you know, because he never showed up, he, he was never there once, and it wasn't from, uh, it wasn't because he was getting, you know, knifed outside the sector, we were both in there, both Cal and myself, Cal carrying the hack, I was playing the defender, and I did not see Kadai once, the nut tried to get in there, but that was about it, you know. Anyway, people, uh, well, let's run down some names and numbers. Myself with the two defense, 17 and 9. Again, the deaths got a little bit of control, but you know what? The competition on the other side, like I said, was, uh, was they were worthy foes, you know, keeping me in line. Uh, Cal, bringing in both hacks for the team, fantastic, you know. Um, and uh, one defense for him, 6 and 12. Bottom level, Kadai there, even Steven, 11, 11, nut, pretty well even Steven as well. The one hack, the one defense, 10 and 12 for him. And uh, a couple of memorable kills, you know, that he got on me. Anyway, people, as always, I appreciate it when you stop by here and check this stuff out. Next week, we'll get back to some blacklists, some heavy-duty action. And, uh, and I hope to see you all there. But until then, remember why it hurts. Later.